What's up, B2? Capital G here, breaking down the official 2019 Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Forbidden and Limited list. This is obviously what all the world's competitors will be playing under throughout the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship. Konami has done things a little differently this year. They've switched up some of the special banned cards, and they did make one kind of controversial decision that I personally believe gives the uh, OCG players a little bit of an advantage, and it's kind of... um. It's a little sad because I thought we were sending a very strong group from the TCG this year. Players like Gabriel Vargas and Jesse Cotton. But man, this world's list is going to be crazy. And I honestly do not know what is going to win. Because honestly, it's just, it's kind of ridiculous. Now, I might use Reddit just because it is a little easier to read but understand that all this information is of course coming directly from this source the ocg ban list and i want to start off with what i believe is konami's kind of biggest controversy with their decision with this list and that is you guys know that last week we got an fnl list right july 15th we started a brand new tournament or excuse me a brand new format in the tcg and it was a huge list it was one of the biggest lists of all time in the Yu Gi Oh tcg well guess what that list does not have any bearing or effect on this tournament. Konami has thrown that list right out the window, and it's kind of crazy because it means that things like White and Black Dragon are completely at three. It means that Eclipse Wyvern is legal for this event. Cards like the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardiche are also legal, and so many changes went into effect. If you were a TCG Worlds competitor and you have been testing, you know, vigorously throughout the last week, you've been playing new format. Basically, all your testing doesn't mean anything. You can throw it out the window because, yeah, our TCG ban list, the one we just had, does not actually affect this list. However, the OCG's last ban list does affect this list. That's why I say that the OCG players have an inherent advantage because. They've been playing their new format for a while. We've been playing our new format for a week, but our changes don't actually matter. This means that things like Insector Dragonfly, Solemn Judgment cards that just moved um, to a higher number on the ban list, they're still at the older numbers. So if you're a TCG player... You had a new deck where you've been playing three Solemns. You can't play three Solemns at this tournament. Now, some of the rules, obviously, like the first rule, is the fact that, you know, if a card is at a certain level in the OCG and it's at a different level of the TCG, you take it at its lowest level. A prime example would be something like Brilliant Fusion. That card is at one in the TCG, but it is at three in the OCG. It's been at one before our most recent ban list, so that means that Brilliant Fusion would be at one. In reverse, I guess, or on the other side of the spectrum, a card like supreme king uh dark worm that card's at one in the ocg but three in the tcg this means it's at one for the tournament now the interesting thing is if a card has not been mass released even if a card is in the tcg and the ocg if it has not been mass released everywhere every single where in those territories it is banned from this tournament this means that cards like ycs price cards i'll give you guys an example Blood Me Fist obviously is widely available in the OCG, and um, you know some people in the, in the TCG have the card. However, it is still technically a YCS prize card, meaning everybody doesn't have access to it. This means Konami just straight up banned it from the tournament. You guys know the new jump promos, kind of the last ones with like the Trishula Fusion Monster, the Dark Arm XC. Some players have gotten their copies uh, so far. Some players have not in the TCG. This means that these are also banned. Also, if you live in like Latin America, I don't think you can get V Jump promos so these are all banned there's also other cards on here some of these cards have been released a while in the tcg like white rose dragon and platinum gadget platinum gadget was in dual power but i guess there's some place in the tcg and the ocg where it hasn't been wide released that means that the card is banned cyber dragon nester that means that uh you know that card is also banned so many of these cards salaman great al mirage a big card from battles of legends straight up banned from the tournament so the ban list is obviously Obviously pretty crazy but something like rusty bardish obviously has a big impact the fact that that card is legal chaos emperor dragon of armageddon our ycs prize card that's banned as well i honestly think thunder dragons despite the fact that they'll have white and black dragon at this event i think the deck is basically dead and that's because the second rule no tcd exclusive cards or ocd exclusives this means no needle fiber this means no dangers no time thieves so obviously without the dangers i'm not really sure you can play thunder dragons at all i mean maybe you can 
will play OCG Thunder Dragons, but Dragon Hawk and Colossus are both at one in this tournament. So I don't really know if you want to even play OCG's version of Thunder Dragons, even if you do have some of those other cards like White and Black Dragon. I mean, I guess we'll have to see some of the other cards when it comes to the limited and the limited section is crazy mainly because of the ocg like baby sarasaurus shadow miss ortho scorpio soul eating ovi raptor i kind of feel like realistically dinosaurs might be a they would have been a strong deck but um the ocg they're just kind of dead because there's so many random hits because of the ocg like baby sarasaurus and ovi raptor i don't really think that you can play dinosaurs with one copy of those each even if the tcg does have three miscellaneous source you also have um things like like chronograph sorcerer i think pendulums are pretty bad under this format as well because dark worm is at one uh, chronograph sorcerer is at one harmonizing magician is at one and even pendulum call is at one so sorry triff gaming uh pendulums will not be winning worlds i don't even think anyone's gonna play pendulums because the deck is basically dead with these major hits now here's the interesting thing right you have Salaman Great Gazelle because obviously Salaman Great Gazelle went the one on the last OCG ban list. However, since the latest TCG ban list has not gone into effect, this means that Circle is at three for Worlds. And I kind of feel like that definitely makes Salaman Greats very, very viable. If you can run three copies of Synet Mining and you still get your three copies of Circle plus your one copy of Ladybug, you can get to that damn one copy of Gazelle very consistently. So I think that Salaman Greats may be one of the um, favorites going into this tournament. You also have things like Invoked Merkaba and um, Thunder Dragon Colossus, as I said earlier. Mass Change 2, which... <laughs> Man, OCG is just crazy with dude. some of these hits that they never move up on our list. You guys think TCG is bad? Like, Mass Change 2, really, <laughs> really OCG. Trickstar Reincarnation because of the OCG. I, I still think that that was a bad hit. Metaverse is at one. Also, Terraforming. Those are because those cards were had, they had already been hit in the OCG prior. Now, the semi limits is interesting specifically because of one deck, in my opinion. And I'll talk about that deck in a second. You've got Trickstar Candina, Dino Wrestler Pankatrops, which probably would have been one of the most popular cards. That card is at two because of the OCG. Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs is at two. And keep in mind, Maxi is banned. This means that technically there's just going to be less hand traps than there have ever been. Maybe you have to run things like Ghost Ogre. Maybe you run some of the secondary good hand traps like Joel and Lockbird. Or maybe you just run the or you roll the dice and play Phantasme because Phantasme has still one of the highest ceilings. But if you do happen to run into something like Guru Control, I think you just get wrecked. I don't think True Draco will be at this event because I believe Diagram is still banned in the OCG. So I think that that kind of kills Diagram or uh, kills the True Dake, uh, Draco deck. But if you're playing Phantasmi in the main and you run into something like Guru Control, you basically are just going to get wrecked by that probably. ABC Dragon Buster. Limiter removal. Fossil dig is another reason why I don't think dinosaurs can be very viable. One fossil dig, one baby Cerasaurus, one Obi Raptor. Nobody's going to play that deck. Necroz cycle. Now, here's the interesting thing, right? And I feel like Sky Strikers will be one of those top decks. Even though the OCG has cards like Engage and Widow Anchor at two, since the o since uh, the latest TCG ban list did not go into effect, this means under this format, a card like Sky Striker multi roll is at three. And I feel like if you're a sky striker player if i told you you could have three multi-roll but you had to give me an engage and a widow anchor i kind of feel like you take that trade so i feel like sky striker will definitely be one of the best decks like right now i would say maybe sky striker orcus and salaman great trickstar carabine a trick trickstar carabine is banned in this tournament so maybe you don't play the trickstar engine Maybe you just drop that and you play a different Orcus build. But keep in mind that something like the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardish is legal in this tournament. So I think that uh, Orcus still had that ridiculously high ceiling just because Bardish is legal. Mystic Mind, Solemn Strike, Personal Spoofing. I think that this may not have killed Altergeist because Altergeist will technically be worse than they are than they are currently in the uh, TCG. Because they still have one multi-faker because of the OCG ban list as they do now in the TCG. But Personal Spoofing is all. Also at two because the OCG just hit that card as well. I mean, I think it's going to be an interesting format, and I, I guess some of my heavy favorites or some of my early favorites would be Salaman Great because they still have three copies of Circle, Sky Striker because even though they're losing a Widow Anchor and they're losing um, a copy of uh, Mobilize Engage, they got three copies of Multi Roll, and that's fucking amazing. And obviously, that's kind of silly. And then obviously Orcus because they still have access to. I mean, you can't play Danger. Orcus. 
So that'll obviously suck. You have to rely more on like special summoning without the danger monsters. But you have Rusty Bardish, and Rusty Bardish into those combos obviously are super good. And if you're an OCG player, like you don't got to worry about Max C at all. Also, there's going to be less Ash Blossoms in this tournament. You know, TCG players, a lot of them play three copies. You'll only be able to play two in this tournament. So I think it's going to be kind of crazy. And I want you guys to uh, let me know what do you guys think is going to ultimately win? Do you think it'll be one of those big decks? Or do you think it'll be something kind of crazy like uh, maybe an anti-meta deck like Guru or maybe even a low-tier deck out of left field? I feel like there is not a definitive favorite because even if I wanted to say Sky Striker, Salaman Great with three Phantasmia in the main looks pretty damn good as well. Anyways, whatever you guys think, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos. Oh, and actually, let me correct myself. I'm trolling. I kept saying that Orcus would be very viable because of Rusty Bardish. Totally for forgot that nightmare mermaid got banned in the ocg so it will be banned under this format as well so uh yeah i'm not really sure that orcus are going to be able to do a whole lot of their combos into bardish if they don't have uh, nightmare mermaid to facilitate those combos